This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Five to refresh. And there we go, it's changed the uh, font, the font family to Arial. Okay, so that's how to do, that's how to handle your headers. Now, we're going to go on to um, just putting in some normal text. So you just go to the end of this header tag here, or the last tag you input on this line, and you just press enter to go to the next tag. Now, um, we whenever you input a new uh, a new paragraph you have to use the paragraph tag so you just open less than sign p greater than um, this doesn't actually have to have a closing tag but people put closing tags just so you, um, if someone else is looking at it they know where the paragraph ends okay so I'm just gonna put a couple of spaces here then slash p and then inside here is going to be my paragraph. Um, you can actually indent paragraphs, which I'll show you how to do soon. Okay, so we're just going to say this is the content of my page, or my HTML page. Dot. Okay, so now if we save this press F5 to refresh and here we go so it says this is the content of my page with this title we put here um, notice it has put it back to um, Times New Roman because um, we only set the header one tag to be family I can show you how um, actually yeah I'll show you right now what we're going to be doing we're going to be using some more CSS and I'm just going to show you how you can indent your paragraphs and you can make it so that all paragraphs by default will be Arial. Okay, so you just want to go to this head section, take a couple of spaces and type in style. So we're going to be using a style tag. Then a couple more spaces and close the style tag with the slash style. Okay, and in here we're going to put um, P. So um, here we're going to be programming all paragraph tags and then the squiggly brackets and then two lines down the closed squiggly brackets and in here is going to go all our commands so I'm just going to say um, uh, text indent text dash indent colon um, and then we put the indent the amount it's going to indent in pixels so I'm just going to say um, Okay, pay attention to this because I'm going to show you how it does actually indent it. I'm going to say 10 pixels. And then remember to put that semicolon there to represent that you're making a new line. Okay, so before I go on to changing the um, family of all the stuff, I'm just going to show you this indent. Okay, so it's here now. Watch when I refresh. Okay, so it's indented it. But um, if we go on to a new line down here, it's not going to indent it because it's only the paragraph remember so this is the indent and then it's gonna come back to here okay and when you um, do a new paragraph I'll just show you here um, so P forward slash P and then in here is going to go um, new line okay it's also on the same indent and now I'll show you how um, uh, notice this um, paragraph tag does split it into separate paragraphs so it does work um, and then I'm just going to show you now how to um, to prove that it does actually indent it um, we're just going to be using a very useful command called the break line tag so it's open br close so this doesn't actually require um, a closing tag so what people do is they put a slash here so less than br forward slash after and then greater than sign to show that it doesn't actually need to be closed okay and then we're just going to put um, first new line and then 
just label the second new line. Okay, and if we save this. Okay, so here we go. Ah, sorry. I forgot to put this inside the um, paragraph. Remember, it's got to go inside the paragraph if you want it to be in the same paragraph. Okay, so I've just replaced that and put it in there. Okay, control save. Okay, so here you go. Here's our first paragraph. And it's been indented here, but then it's gone back. Okay, so that's just... And then our second paragraph has been indented. And if we use the break line, it would go back. Um, you can't just press enter in HTML programming. So that's why we use the break line tag. If, if you put this down here, it's still going to go... Well, it actually would have to go down here, wouldn't it? If you put this down here, it would go right next to this. So you have to input the break line tag to um, go on to the next line. Okay. So um, now back to setting the default as Arial. So you want to go back to this style tag and then this P here we put. And um, you can press enter from here or you can press enter here. And you just want to make a new line. Um, and we're going to put font sorry font dash family is Arial semicolon and save that okay so now it's all Arial okay so this will set what this is doing is it's setting all paragraphs to have an indent of 10 pixels and all paragraphs will be in Arial um, you can also class paragraphs which I'll show you how to do in a later tutorial because that's quite advanced stuff and then you can, if you class them, you can have, um, this, is, this isn't actually how you do it, but you can say this class, uh, and then you can have font-family is Arial, and then you can have this class 2, and font-family is uh, Helvetica. And so you can have different paragraph. If you class the paragraph, you can um, have different types of uh, font for each paragraph. Okay, so um, that's just some useful stuff there. Uh, and the final thing I'm just going to be showing you how to do is increase the size. Okay, so what we can do is we can increase this, um, the size of every paragraph, or we can just increase the size of one. Um, so what we're just going to be doing is uh, if we, um, I want this paragraph to be, uh, this text size to be bigger. So we're just going to be using this div tag again. And then um, this is style. So rather than classing it, which is a bit more advanced, I want to do that in the next tutorial. I'm just going to be using the div tag. Uh, so div style equals, and then this has to go in quotation marks, remember. Um, uh, we're just going to input... I believe it's font dash size, and this goes from one to seven. I think let's just test. Okay, no, sorry. It, so 